It's Friday and you know what that means in phone dog YouTube land and on the site of course, it's time for a five on Friday. How's it going guys? I'm Aaron Baker from phonedog.com and five on Fridays are fun segment where we bring together sometimes some wireless stuff, sometimes some stuff just in life and put it together in a top five list, hence the name five on Friday. This time around, I'm telling you my five favorite Android phones so far in 2013. Sit down, buckle up. This is five on Friday. So this time around, I'm talking my five favorite Android phones, and you know the pace of Android. Every month, there are hundreds, of, or so it seems at least, hundreds of different Android devices announced, released, and more. Couple of things on this list. One, I'm talking about devices that are announced and available, released right now. So that does include the HTC One as of today. It does not include the Samsung Galaxy S4. I'll most likely make another list in May because the Galaxy S4 is definitely up there on the top five list. But right now, it's as of April 2013, and April 19th at that. So let's get started with the top five list of my favorite Android devices so far in April of 2013, or at least of this year. In fifth place, you've got something that a lot of people like. It's the LG Nexus 4. Now you know me, stock Android, there's a great value add to stock Android. There are a lot of people that love stock Android and the Nexus 4 brings together some great specifications and stock Android. So you've got Android 4.2 Jelly Bean and a clean version at that or a vanilla version, whatever you wanna call it. And then you've got a nice quad core CPU, a 4.7 inch display, an eight megapixel camera. I love the build quality of the Nexus 4, how it looks and feels in the hand. And then you've got it at $299 for the eight gigabyte version, $300 and $49 for the 16 gigabyte version, and that is unlocked without a contract. So 300 bucks for a really high-end Android phone is not a bad deal at all. It's in fifth place for me on my list. Coming on my list in fourth place, the Samsung Galaxy S3, and it's getting ready to be replaced by the Galaxy S4, which will obviously have a place on my list pretty high up there on my top five list. But the Galaxy S3 is a fantastic device all around. It was released last year and even in 2013, it still competes with some of the highest end devices on the market. I loved the AT&T, still do, love the AT&T red version. And then of course it came in blue and white as well. And then on Verizon Wireless, it came in black and brown at later date. So really a nice device with some great specs. It brought TouchWiz Nature UX to the masses and it brought together some of those great features. Smart Stay, Yes Beam, all that stuff that you love about Samsung. The software goodies started with the Galaxy S3. So it's in fourth place on my list. In third place, the HTC Droid DNA. Because you Verizon customers, you can't get the HTC One right now, but the Droid DNA does have some fantastic specifications. It's got a five inch 1080p HD display. It's got Android 4.1, Sense 4 Plus, a nice decent sized battery, 2020 milliamp hour battery. So maybe a little bit small by comparison's sake, but still decent sized. And then you've got a quad core CPU. So very popular phone from Verizon. And even though the Galaxy S4 is getting ready to come out and the Note 2 is out, it's a great HTC alternative on Verizon Wireless, at least until they get the HTC One. That brings me to my second place spot, a person on the list, I should say phone, not person. I don't know what's going on here. I haven't had enough coffee today. Second place spot goes to the HTC One. It's a beautiful device. I mean, incredibly well constructed. Absolutely love this phone. It feels great in the hand. The silver one's beautiful, the black one is gorgeous, and it's available today on AT&T and Sprint and coming on the 24th to T-Mobile, though you can order it online today uh, at T-Mobile.com. So really a beautiful device, quad-core Snapdragon 600 CPU, 4.7 inch 1080p HD display, you got that four ultra pixel camera, they're reimagining, you know, re revitalizing the camera space. You've got that, Android 4.1, HTC Sense version five, a 2300 milliamp hour battery, 4G LTE connectivity on all three carriers, depending on whether you have a market that supports it or not, but nice to have that feature out of the box. And it's just a gorgeous smartphone. We've covered it extensively on phonedog.com and it is definitely one of my favorites, obviously, because it's on my list. One of my favorite devices on the market. For me personally though, the first place spot still goes to the Samsung Galaxy Note 2. Now it's starting to show its age and of course if you don't like plastic it may not be the device for you. It's a big device as well, but for my use case I find the Note 2 to be an exceptional device all around. It's got great specs that compete in 2013, a quad core 1.6 gigahertz Exynos processor, a 5.5 inch 720p Super AMOLED HD display. So you've got a big beautiful display where you can sign contracts. This is something I use it for on a regular basis, sign contracts. I can look at pictures, I can browse the web, and you've got a giant display that, yes, while it may be a little bit large in the pocket, 
It brings together a beautiful HD display, a bigger HD display at that, but still pocketable for the most part. 3,100 milliamp hour battery too is probably the number two reason why I continue to carry the Note 2 on a regular basis. For me, I'm constantly in meetings, I'm traveling, and you get a device with a 2,000 or 2,100 milliamp hour battery and it's just not enough for me to make it through the day. I have to either swap it out or carry a spare battery pack. I love working with the Note 2 because whether I'm at CES or Mobile World Congress or wherever I may be with that device, it usually makes it through even a heavy day of meetings and events or trade shows, things like that. It is number one on my list. But I will tell you, the one is gorgeous. That definitely a high number two on my list. Kind of competes sometimes in my mind at least for number one. So it's definitely a challenge even for somebody that reviews phones on a regular basis and does it professionally. Keep it locked on PhoneDog.com for the next five on Friday. Let me know what you want to see on Twitter at PhoneDog underscore Aaron. And while you're doing the Twitters, let me know what your top five are. Your top five favorite Android phones that are out right now. So keep that in mind. Out right now in the States. Let me know at phone dog underscore Aaron on Twitter, Facebook. I'm at facebook.com slash hi Aaron Baker, and we're on Google Plus as well at phone dog.com slash G Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend, and I'll see you back here next week.